Climbing into the F-14's cockpit in 1970, Grumman's chief test pilot knew the dangers involved, having gotten the job after the last chief test pilot was killed in a takeoff accident. It was December 30th, and with the F-14 program racing towards production, he and the other pilot were taking off on the F-14's first real test flight. But just after takeoff, the chase pilot noticed hydraulic fluid pouring out of the F-14's right side. The pilots immediately turned back towards base, but they were still losing fluid. Pretty soon, their flight hydraulic system went to zero, causing the plane to begin pitching wildly before going into a steep nosedive. They were just 25 feet above the tree line when they initiated the ejection sequence, and 0.9 seconds later, both were in the air. Just 0.4 seconds after that, the F-14's nose wheel collided into a tree as the plane burst into flames. It turns out the hydraulic problem had been spotted a few days earlier, but with a tight production schedule, the near-fatal flight had gone forward anyway.